And of course, there's the Celtics, two games back. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, every NBA season, there's always going to be some big surprises in store. And, and I think this season, they'd have to be considered one of the biggest of them all. Oh, no question. And we're deep enough into the season to know, hey, this hasn't happened by accident. They are genuine contenders here. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there with Vucevic, and it's DeRozan in at the small forward. And for Boston, outside, the wings are Brown and Tatum. Bob Williams is out there with Horford, and it's Smart in at the point. And the basket by DeRozan. Doris, at this point of the season, we see which teams have gotten better. What's the, what's the toughest threshold, do you think, to cross? I think breaking through and becoming that championship team, that one team standing when the last game has been played. Listen, if you've struggled for long stretches, getting to 500, you know, can be a process. But to me, those teams that can cross from perennial postseason participant to NBA champion, that is the hardest threshold. And it's good for two. The assist. What a fantastic finish by Zach Levine. Contact, yeah, I can finish through that one. Outside Tatum. Excellent D there from Williams. Now the Bulls with it. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. Yeah, I mean, every time out, it's a learning experience to some degree. But that's not what they were looking for. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. And over the years, Levine has put on the muscle, which helps him on those challenging finishes at the rim. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Brown gets it to go from eight feet. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Here's DeRozan. No good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. And slam dunk by Tatum. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. Levine against Brown. Pass to Vucevic. He kicks the ball. Just five on the clock. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Yeah, and Ball doesn't let panic set in. You can see that he plays by a different clock. Even though the shot clock's winding down, he knows how to bail his guys out. Horford finds Tatum. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Tatum's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Celtics. And an area that's often underappreciated for Horford. He's a fantastic passer. Nothing flashy. Great vision in the post or at the top of the key. And he just keeps it moving and finds the open man. Ball against Smart. Great D that time from Vucevic. Chicago trailing here. Levine, that's good. Levine. Levine's got six. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for Chicago long stretches. Foul. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first, that's his first foul. foul. Then his shooters check in for Boston. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Dennis Schroeder. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Celtics passing it around. Here's Williams. Rebound collected by Levine. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Two minutes remaining. Brown against Levine. Two minutes. And it's Brown missing. 
Bulls have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62 percent. DeRozan against Tatum. DeRozan gets the bucket. DeRozan. DeRozan's got his second basket of the game. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. DeRozan, I guess they don't think he needs any help. Williams can't get it to go. Chicago leading. One twenty-four left to play in the first quarter. Ball dishes to Vucevic. That falls. Nice He's feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists Final. now in this one. Celtics. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Oh, and checking out the stats for DeMar DeRozan. Last season, he played outstanding. He was around 21 points per game last year. Seven assists and four rebounds. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Ball surveying the defense. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Williams. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And checking out some stats for Levine. He's coming off an excellent season. Seventh in scoring, and he was also extremely dependable behind the three-point line, finishing the season among the top 20 in three-point percentage. And back to his points per game average last year, he literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. Here's DeRozan. And the defensive prowess of Williams, uh, just effective at altering shots and almost getting into the heads of shooters. Brown finds Schroeder. Vucevic against Tatum. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by Vucevic. Bulls have gone seven of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Williams. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Tatum passes to Schroeder. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by DeRozan. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Rolls out front. They're up by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. Here's Schroeder. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. Outside, the wings are Brown and Tatum. Ennis Cantor is out there with Horford, and it's Schroeder in at the point. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. So it's the Celtics now. Trailing by four. Here's Horford. No points in the game yet for him. Just five to shoot. Tatum down low. And by Green. And the basket by Tatum. Jason Tatum committed to adding strength and adding weight. And now the ability to finish through contact so evident. 
Levine up top. He's covered by Brown. Shoots it up. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Levine's got the lead up to four now for the Bulls. Bounce pass, Schroeder. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Vucevic. Shoots from 12. Here's Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. Cantor. I love that Cantor will pursue rebounds out of his area. This guy's such a powerful player who's willing to exert his will. Levine against Brown. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Levine. Levine's got 10 points. And competition is at the root of all sports. Certainly sometimes, you know, things get chippy. And as a player, Rick, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? Kevin, you, you're always taught to control your emotions, but easier said than done. And in reality, sometimes you have to man up. You that have to sure. let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team not literally there's Levine and it's off the back rim no good well seized up just a little bit at the last second that's one he normally converts it's Brown with the drive and finished off by Brown how confident is Jalen Brown and his handle the dribble drive through traffic really nice Brown against Levine they kick it out to Green. Let's it go from deep. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Green's got his first three points of the game. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Levine inside the three-point line. Again, Levine missing. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. To the wing right side. Schroeder outside. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And so Green will bring it up for Chicago. And free agency, unkind to Dennis Schroeder over the summer. Bet on himself to get a bigger deal in the offseason. And cap space drying up quickly. And he just lacked suitors. He eventually catches on with this team, but this wasn't the ideal scenario. He's off on the first. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Boston making some changes. Robert Williams comes in for Cantor. And Smart subbed in for Al Horford. Tony Bradley's checked in for the Bulls. Second free throw. No good. Austin's gone three or four from long range in the game. To the middle. Here's Tatum. Good on the short little jump shot. Tatum's got seven points for the quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Bean passes to Brant. Bulls moving the ball around. Outside green. Here's Caruso. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. So far in the game, it's 0 of 2 at the line. Some changes for Chicago. Johnson comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Zach Levine.
Boston. They've gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Her kicks to Tatum. To the paint. Here's Williams, and Williams throws it down. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving, the ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. They kick it out to Green. And a miss there on the triple. For Boston, they've gone 7-9 in their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. We've got 123 left now here in the second. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Shooter. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Celtics. We've Taking seen a lot shots. of their points coming off penetration in the first half. And what passing we've seen from this group already, too. They could put up a big number in the assist column by the end of this one. And the first one drops. So he hits both. 121 left to play here in the half. Ball against Schroeder. There's the lob to Brown. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. Boy, you get a real glimpse of the explosiveness of Jalen Brown. What a big time finish. Chicago's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Caruso. He's guarded by Schroeder. Green up on top. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ball. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Yeah, you've got to stay with Ball when the pick comes. You know he's looking to get the shot off. Here's Williams. A shot off that time. And it's Chicago the other way. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Outside Tatum. 12 seconds left here in the second. Shoots from 12. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. One of the things you love about Jason Tatum, he's cooking right now. He's putting it to the defense, but by his emotions, it would never be betrayed. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. So did Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq, there was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, two assists, and one block. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first few quarters. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad steps. And that's a wrap. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Celtics. It's a one-point game. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to strike the third. Taking a look at the Bulls. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there at the Rosen. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. Austin shooting their first free throws of the game. At the line for two shots. Thank you. 
no good on that one. And you know what I love is Marcus Smart just continues to improve. We know he's a powerful athletic guard, but he wants to keep building different aspects of his game. Good on the second free throw. The Bulls shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. Levine feeling it out a bit. Vucevic trying to get open. They get it again, and he gets the bucket. Zach Levine's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. The consistency for Zach Levine is a guy who's going to be productive night after night after night. Outside Williams. Pass to Horford. Six to shoot. Misses off the right iron. Williams finds ball. Now Vucevic. Pass to Levine. Fires for three. Sinks the triple. Levine. And now a three-point Bulls lead. Boy, Levine's range, his consistency from three are so problematic. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive schemes. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. It's Brown with the drive. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Uh, don't you love how Brown just barrels into the teeth of the defense? This is a shifty forward who knows how to get to the rack. Levine against Brown. Vucevic trying to get open. Now here's Smart. Tight defense on him. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Levine's got his fourth rebound in this one. Kicks to DeRozan. Now the pass to Ball. Over Tatum. And Ball gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. Six points for Lonzo Ball. Well, this is where DeMar DeRozan proves he is the real deal. Not only a skilled scorer, skilled at finding his teammates as well. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Tatum. The Bulls have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. The drive by Vucevic. Nikola Capable Vucevic. of finishing off the drive. I love how determined Nikola Vucevic looks when he puts the ball on the deck. Ball against Smart. Outside Tatum for the tie. Drills it from outside. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Robert Williams. That's his first foul. Some changes for Boston. And his can is checked in for Williams. Richardson comes in for Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Vucevic against Cantor. Four on the clock. Here's to Rosen. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Assisted. Six points for DeMar DeRozan. We call that DeMar DeRozan to the rescue. Knew the situation and barely beats the clock. Cantor dishes to Horford. DeRozan against Richardson. Here's Pritchard. And Paul with the block. And Paul using those long arms to just swat away that shot. I love the hustle. Always nice to have a point guard who can block shots. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. 
The Bulls have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. And Levine, here we go. Can't cash in from close range. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Stolen by Ball. One sixteen left in the third. Vujovic finds DeRozan. Outside, Levine. Hits the three-point bomb. Levine. Levine's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Bulls. Here's Pritchard. Vujovic defending. From 11 feet away, it's hauled in by the Bulls. 44 seconds left to play in the third. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Ennis Cantor. Yeah, impressed with the work ethic of uh, Ball. You can see a desire to want to be great, and he's going to continue to work on improving those weaknesses. It's his first trip to the line. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Brown. The Bulls also changing it up. Green comes in for Williams, and it's Brown in for DeMar DeRozan. Ball hits them both. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Richardson against Brown. Richardson the pass to Schroeder. Right side Horford. Five to shoot. Horford double team. Out to the right wing. Richard. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Richard's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Ball against Cantor. Here's Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. How about those instincts from the seven-footer? Vucevic uses that size to snag offensive rebounds. And taken away by Brown. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on this boy. And we'll be right back after this. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. They've got Horford, also Ennis Cantor out there. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Josh Richardson, and it's Pritchard in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And they recover it. Second chance shot, and it's Jones laying it in. Jones Jr. Jones has got the lead up to six now for the Bulls. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Schroeder against Vucevic. Schroeder kicks to Richardson. Five on the clock. It's hauled in by Brown. The Bulls leading by six. Going inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And it's hard to look at Troy Brown Jr. and see anything other than raw potential. That's exactly right. Because the physical tools are eye popping, and he's always ready to step up for his team. The challenge: show the league you're capable of consistency. Shoot two. Free throw good from Brown. Austin making some changes. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. Tatum comes in for Richardson. And Smart subbed in for Pritchard. 
He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Celtics trail by seven. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. Crops in the layup for two. Tatum's got 24. That's a case where the reach of Jason Tatum comes into play. Understanding, let me go hit the offensive glass, and you get rewarded for it. To the inside, here's Vucevic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Well, let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Chicago. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. The number of second-chance points they've gotten has also been big. They've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. And both free throws good for Vucinic. And right now at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Outside Tatum. The second effort. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second the best offensive foul. players in the league First get to the free foul. throw line consistently. This is where you're starting to see growth Jason from Jason Tatum, Tatum wanting the contact, inviting shots. the contact. The first free throw is good. Boy, the evolution and growth of Jason Tatum has been fun to watch. He's committed to improving. He wants nightly responsibility, and he's got such a high ceiling. He doesn't get the second one. And after one year at UNLV, Derrick Jones Jr. going pro back in 2016, he's gone from an undrafted project to a dunk contest champion. Williams against Vucevic. Over Williams. Williams with the block. The, the amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Derek Jones Jr., Greg, as we know, is a high flight. In fact, he, he is a frequent flight. Yeah, I mean, all the physical tools you look for in a wing player, Kevin. Tremendous length and athleticism, and he continues to develop his skill set and capitalize on those gifts. Jason. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Tatum. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Brown feeling out of it. Here's Vucevic. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Vucevic has got four points in the quarter. Well, Nikola Vucevic can score against excellent defense. That is a good finish in close. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. His turnovers haven't helped their cause. It's almost as if he's playing for the other team. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Troy Brown. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Ball against Smart. Ball no good. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Smart passes to Horford. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. <laughs> oh, you have to love Al Horford prepared to deliver in the important moments. Outside Green puts up a three, cranes it from beyond the arc, and the Bulls lead by five. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one Jason giving an inch here. Tatum. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. 
And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Timeout. Chicago calls timeout. For viewers, timeout's a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team, and he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. Thank you, David. Celtics trail by three. Outside Tatum. Shoots over ball. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Now Chicago's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Williams trying to break free. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. And two shots coming up. It goes on Jason Tatum. Yeah, and all size makes him a difficult guy to guard. He uses it well to pick up fouls while shooting. Two shots. free throw is good and that gives them a four point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line and it's a five point game. Yeah the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two possession game. For Boston, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Tatum with it. Williams picks him up. The offensive rebound. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got 33. Man, you can get chills watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. Inside, Vucevic tries again. They shoot again, and the layup is up and in. And the Bulls lead by five. Wow, Vucevic with the big-time delivery. The Montenegrin says, that's my shot. Loads it up for Williams. Hammers the alley-oop through. How about the confidence? It's just growing in this young man. Williams has the attitude of a go-to guy in these big moments, even though he's still picking up the nuance of the game. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. Got it! Vucevic so confident in himself and his teammates come along with him. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Celtics. They're trailing by five. All right. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Come on and get loud. Here are the Celtics Adventures. Launches it. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Feeds to Vucevic. It falls. Nicole. Well, the post Vucevic. game, the jump shot. Vucevic, a capable scorer who loves taking over on the offensive end. They've got to time take out, the first out. good shot they can find. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, then. Stand up and get the ball. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Smart dishes to Horford. Vucevic against Smart. It counts. And he has brought them to within two points. 
I tell you, Marcus Smart, ready to deliver under duress, tough situation. What boys? Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Shoot two. Zach Levine at the line for two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. I think what you have to appreciate about Zach Levine is he is becoming such a well-rounded player, willing to share the basketball, willing to hit the boards, and certainly willing to become a more efficient shooter. Here's Tatum. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's in! Well, Tatum is a three-level scorer, able to get to that jumper when it's available, this time working the interior. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. That's his third personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Zach break, Levine break. taking two, two shots. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ballgame. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. Smart kicks to Williams. Here's Horford. No good. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Damar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? We're focusing in on the defensive end. We know if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, Jamar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.